<laughs> we assume <laughs> you're right. Question everything. <laughs> uh, a bump. Mm -hmm. The magnitude really small, like it was something like 2.5 or 3. But I remember listening to the radio that day as I was working on a story, and person after person called in over this huge area talking about what they had felt. There are no persons. They persons ended up don't talk. Same sorts of things, and it was interesting the picture they painted collectively. So I know a lot of you are calling our. That was a little one. Dan is. Are uh, you forecasting? Are saying. Hadamancing. And, uh, and please do continue. Hadamancing to forecasting. Talk to some of you on the air and others who are certainly paying attention to uh, what you're saying. Absolutely, and and Alicia Grabinski uh, joins us now. She is our uh, host of our Daybreak Morning Show uh, for CBC Radio in Prince Rupert. She felt the earthquake and has been chasing the story. Um, from up there in Prince Rupert. Alicia? Hello, Renee. Yes, at, at about 8.15 tonight, like many people in British Columbia, we felt it here in Prince Rupert. I was at a house, and it almost felt like a massive wind was making the home shake. But, of course, it wasn't long before we found out it was the 7.7 .7 earthquake. And uh, the light fixtures were shaking, and there were chimes in the window that started to clink. Um, and uh, it almost made my stomach turn. It was, a, it was a very strange, unusual feeling, first time I felt that. So, uh, of course, we've been making calls tonight trying to to find out what the impact could be here in Prince Rupert. And we do know that there is a disaster crew that has gathered at City Hall here in town. They're waiting for instructions and, and making a plan. We do know that uh, a number of the ports um, that export coal and grain and other goods have been shut down and all people working there have been told to leave. However, the Port Authority is saying that they expect the uh, effect to be, you know, quite low here in Prince Rupert. Um, we did hear from Dave McKenzie, who is the fire chief, and uh, he says that they are telling people who, who live on uh, low-lying areas that they are warning them about the potential of a tsunami and that they uh, have a choice of whether or not they want to leave, but it is not an evacuation order. But for those who do decide to leave their homes, they're gathering at the Civic Center, which is a community center here in Prince Rupert. And Alicia, just one last question. How would you describe the feeling uh, up there of people you're, you're speaking with, people you're talking to, uh, about, about what's going on right now? Well, as soon as the quake hit, of course, everybody was texting and tweeting and trying to figure out what happened. It's, it's unusual to feel something like that here, and so everybody's just scrambling for information, trying to find out what's going on. It's almost, you could almost call it a little bit of excitement, uh, which maybe seems a bit strange, but uh, people are just trying to figure out what happened and, and what the impact could be, and of course, everybody's talking about it. Thanks, Alicia. That's Alicia Grabinski, uh, the Daybreak North host based out of uh, CDC's Prince Rupert Bureau. Wow. And just a reminder again just that in case you didn't know it was breaking news, I really hope it's not breaking. One kilometer south of Nassit on height of Y, and a tsunami uh, warning yes. still remains in effect Hi. for folks living on the coast Hi. Uh, anywhere from Alaska right to the Washington U.S. border. I think I these people are ready on the go. I think we have a guest on the phone now. A guest. Hello. Okay. Oh, I thought we had a guest on the phone, but uh, we don't. You're going to see those kinds of moments oh. over the next half hour or so as we just keep rolling through our coverage here, and uh, obviously we are... I uh, hope they're not those kind of moments when people uh, hang up on you, Adam. Looking for people who are watching particularly across the country on CBC News Network who may be wondering what exactly Haida Gwaii is. <coughs> <coughs> and whether there's damages and whether there's people that are hurt. We know we don't know. I know this is... This is just the Weather Channel, I believe. I know this is CBC. Uh, people of a certain age across the country We interrupt your regularly scheduled uh, program uh, for 7.7. 7. Uh, and hard. we haven't mentioned uh, anything yeah, about... So just in case you're wondering where it is, you can see that Prince. in relation to uh, Prince Rupert, think. British Columbia as well. <laughs> Say something for the camera. Because <laughs> you got a green screen behind you. Green screen? Yeah. You just know like what's the good way to tie your shoes? 95% of people don't tie their shoes correctly. How <laughs> many stuff in a day do you do that's not correctly done?